You are worthy of the very best of everything. And yet you keep sabotaging yourself. It's like as, almost as soon as you're ready to break through, you do something. <laughs> you drop the ball. You get into an argument. You fall ill. You do something crazy to prevent you from actually having that breakthrough. And I'm not even sure that you always notice that this is happening. You just feel as though no matter what you do, you can't seem to go into your next level. You can't see. It always seems harder for you than it does for everyone else. But it's not true. Hey, I'm Rosemary Nonny Knight. I am the money minister. I support action-oriented spiritual people to thrive, to prosper, to make at least six figures whilst living their life's purpose, whilst living in their true design. I believe we all get to live free, fulfilled, financially abundant, love-drenched lives if we are willing to claim it, if we are willing to identify when we are getting in our own way, not just say, oh yeah, I know I'm the one that is in my own way. People say that all the time, but I'm not, I ask people when I'm speaking with them, do you actually know exactly what that means? Do you actually know exactly how you're getting in your own way? Do you know the thoughts that are continually going through your mind? Or are you so used to thinking the same way that you haven't questioned it in so long and yet you're reacting from that wrong foundation, that foundation of whatever someone said about you, whoever knows when, and you're still living from that foundation where maybe someone said to you, you can't accomplish this, or this is too hard for, for you. And so you believed it. And now, even though you could have whatever it is that you desire, there's a voice inside of you that says, that's too much. I can't have that. And so you sabotage it. You do something silly to stop you from doing it. But again, do you notice that this is happening to you? You are created in the image and likeness of the divine. You need to start repeating this to yourself. You are one with the divine. If you decide that something must happen in your life, nothing can stop it from happening except if you give in but you don't have to and this is also not about you judging yourself though I do want you to become a heck of a lot more self-aware to notice when you are doing things that could sabotage you now you may not notice this this is why you want support this is why you want to be in an environment that helps you question some of the beliefs that you've carried forever for instance I had beliefs around my relationship with the divine or even just me as, as a worm, you know, because uh, I was brought up Christian and sometimes some versions of Christianity can teach you that you are so little, you are so small and the divine is so big and, you know, he's, he's, he's blessing you by, by even d tr daring to look at you or even, you know, the, the fact that he deigns to look at you because you are just so unworthy that he looks at you is something that you should be so grateful for which can leave you with this sense of, I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy of, of love and affection. And that was me growing up. That was me, this feeling that I always had to fight for every single everything. This feeling that, and, and it's not, you know, on the outside, looking at my life, you would never have guessed that those were issues within me because I looked successful, but only within the boxes that others had set for me. The things that I really wanted, they felt way out of reach. Everybody else would say to me, Rosemary, everything you, turn, you touch turns to gold. It did not feel that way to me. And it always felt like I was hitting a ceiling and I could never seem to break my way past it. But then I started to notice and started listening to the divine. Instead of listening to all the voices, the noise, the nonsense, the drama. I started listening to the divine, helping me see hey, this is, this, this is not helping you. This is getting in the way. Maybe you need to go and be in that environment with that person who will help you see where you're getting in your own way. I started working with coaches, with mentors to help me see. Because if you are in one level, one environment, everybody has certain expectations of you. You fit into that environment. But if it doesn't feel right to you, which for a lot of us in this community you know you're in the wrong life for you. The only way you're going to break out of that wrong life, it's not by doing the same old, same old stuff and, or because you, you can't see it yourself. 
It's getting yourself into a new environment where you're taught new things, where your, 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 your beliefs are questioned, where what seemed so out there to you in your old environment now is like normal. And then suddenly you find yourself, it's like, it's like someone who is unfit getting a group of fit friends. It's almost, it's almost, they don't even notice when suddenly they're becoming fitter. Suddenly they want to take more walks. Suddenly they want to be at the gym more. Why? Because their friends are doing these things. They're eating better because their friends are doing these things. They put themselves in a new environment. So you, if you want to stop feeling unworthy of the best of everything, if you want to start accepting the desires that you have in your heart as absolutely possible for you, put yourself in a new environment where it is normal to demand more from life and expect to receive it. Come into evolution. It's an environment I'm creating for action-oriented spiritual people like you. You know you want more. Listen, honey, I know you are worthy of more. But I know that the level of thinking you're at right now will not allow you to step into your more. And it doesn't matter what, what level of um, abundance you're experiencing right now. You know there's more for you. Come into evolution. There's a link around this video. It's rosemaryonlynight.com forward slash evolution. It's $7 a month. Come into evolution. It's time for you to start reprogramming your mind for a greater level of success. It's time. Much amazing love. I look forward to working with you to shift any sense of unworthiness to step into the knowing that you are created in the image and likeness of the divine for real. What does that actually mean for you to step up in power and start living in your true design? It's time to leave behind the pain, the limiting beliefs of the past and rise victorious in your true design life. Come on in to evolution. See the link around this video. Much amazing love. Share this with someone else. Much love.